Hello, Kai back with you today to share this little card that I did using Penny Black's Space Reserved. Um, I'm using the stamp from the lower one on the left side from the bench and I'm going to fussy cut them out. That's why I'm stamping on such a little piece of paper there. It's left over from the two panels that I cut that I'll be using later on in this card. They are uh, Distress Watercolor um, pieces from Ranger. And I'm stamping with um, sepia ink from Ranger Archival Sepia Ink. And then I proceed to watercolor them using Distress Inks. I'm using first uh, scattered straw just to give them a base layer. And then I'll move into the um, brushed corduroy. And I'll, towards the end, add some walnut stain to finish them off. It's, um, even though it takes a bit to paint, he's just, he's just a little bird. But I'm very fastidious when I paint. I want him to look just perfect, so I um, take a lot of time when I do this. And I've actually edited some of it out of this, so now you know that I'm just terrible when it comes to the length of time I take. But he is sure a cute bear and a lot of fun to paint, so I couldn't resist. I'm just uh, laying down and I'm moving now into the brush corduroy. You see me tapping there on my work surface. That's to have a little puddle of water there. Just saves me having to reach into my container, which is um, above the white workspace. So my border house reach. And a few times in this video, you also see the back of my head, which isn't a pretty sight, but hey has to happen. I'm just going to, normally I would add pink to the cheeks, but later on in the video I do pick up some spiced marmalade and add that to the cheeks. So it gives him, it makes him a him, in my opinion. And it gives um, his cheeks a little bit of color that isn't pink for a change. So now I'm adding a little bit of the walnut stain in the areas that I want it to be darker. I'm going to be fussy cutting this bear out. Um, I know I'll be using a f losing. I'm sorry, a fair amount of the um, little pieces of fur that are coming off of him, but I try to keep a little bit on and then just fill it in with um, the brushed corduroy paint. But he still looks good, I think. Uh, fussy cut out. And I'm going to have him sit on, I'm making two panels for him, and I'm going to have him sitting on the smallest one. Um, to me, and I don't know if you remember, but when I was young, I used to always cross my legs like this and swing my legs. So that's what I think he's going to be doing, is swinging his legs. Normally in the stamp, as you can see on the left, his legs are touching the ground there. He's waiting for his mate to come and join him. Here he's just in, in my card, he's just going to be enjoying the scenery. I'm not quite sure what I would, go, what I'm going to end up using the card for. So I didn't put a sentiment on it when I finished, but I can always add that at a later date. I 
I think I still continue on adding bits of the walnut stain and bits of the corduroy. It, he dries very quickly, so don't need to worry about that. So I'm doing the smallest of panels. This is the one that the bear will be attached to using Distress Oxide inks for my background in Cracked Pistachio, Broken China, and Faded Jeans. And this again is the Ranger Distress watercolor paper. And I've die cut it, both of the panels actually, using my Penny Black stitched stackers say that a couple times fast. <laughs> Just tapping in the colors. I um, Because of the die cut area going around the edge of the card, I do take my paintbrush. Oh, I don't know what happened with the light there. That was weird. But I do take my paintbrush and fill in some of the spots that just did not want to take the ink where the die cut is so and I add the faded jeans to the top of this one in the bigger panel I lay down the cracked pistachio and the broken china at the same time and spritz them and lay the whole panel into the inks. It um, takes longer with the Distress watercolor paper. It's very thick paper and of course it has the bridges in it. Um, so it takes a bit of work to get it to pick up the the inks. It tries to resist, but in the end, it can't. <laughs> I've tried spritzing the paper to loosen it up a bit, but it really doesn't make much of a difference either way. So adding back in some broken china again with this little panel and here's where I touch up those areas with my paintbrush and I did the same on the larger panel I think I mentioned that I don't do it all because I do like some white spot white space left Just a little bit of white space there at the top. So and this is the larger piece and I finished it and now I'm just doing some splattering with the faded jeans on this piece and I use broken china on the other piece, the smaller piece. And I've put everything together on a blue card base. I really like the look of the blue. It just makes these panels just pop. Um, so, and on the smaller panel, I attached some fun foam to the back of it to lift it off and give the card some, there's my head again, the card some dimension. Oh, and my nails are painted here. I left in the middle of doing this card to get my nails done. And I was thinking it wouldn't be noticed, but I guess it kind of is, but oh well. So here's where I'm gonna just add the spice marmalade to his cheeks. And then I'm going to style him. I have, um, McGill stylers that I've had for a long time. I think they're worth the investment. Uh, I see that um, Raya sells 
uh, Nuva ones on her website, which look exactly almost the same as the McGill. So I think they would be just as good, if not probably better, could be. Um, but I really think that styling this kind of um, bear for this kind of card is a almost a must-have. Makes a different kind of puffs them up a bit, even though it doesn't affect the card for mailing or anything of that nature. So I put him on a foam square as well. and have him sitting on the edge of the decorated part of the rim or the edge of the panel. This also loosens up the paper a bit so it um, allows the paper some movement. I bend the ears forward so I style them to bring them forward This is a longer video than what I would have liked, but you know, you try. I do try. So just to finish them off here, I'm going to add a butterfly and um, one of the dragonflies that's included in this set. It's a, it's a great set and I love that bird that um, came with it as well. thought about using him, but opted for the butterfly and dragonfly instead. I'm just stamping those with cobalt um, archival ink from Ranger. And then I struggle getting the card out with the bar magnet, but anyway. So I'm going to add some Wink of Stella here to the bear's nose, as well as the uh, wings of the butterfly and dragonfly just for a little bit of sparkle and that will finish my card for today I think it turned out really cute I love the colors of it I love the bear I think it makes a great card I hope you like it as well and that you'll give me a thumbs up if you do enjoy it. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. I'm trying to do more videos so I will see you soon. Bye for now.